Bees. Wise bees will tell you, natura in minima maxima, kindly translating it as, nature is the greatest in the smallest things. Bees, making life sweet, made man's harsh evolution more tolerable. Almost each mouthful of food owes its existence to pollinating bees. It's been said, if bees disappear, man has only a few years to live. Bees are you social, meaning their life is ordered for the benefit of everyone in the hive. Construction workers, nurses, guards, grocers, housekeepers, foragers, and gigolos, and undertakers. Man's society is largely antisocial, a kleptocracy. Man who steals from bees repays them with pesticide, yet they dance to work. Emma Goldman said that all revolutions should involve dancing, but no revolution has produced anything as good as bees, and Tolstoy believed they'd devised the ideal society for man. No society has a talisman with the power of honey. One ounce of honey enables a bee to fly round the whole world. If bee's stamina is scaled up to human level, man is quite outclassed. A bee beats its wings over 11,000 times in a minute. Its brains a cubic millimeter whose wiring beats silicon chips. A bee, said Karl Marx, can put architects to shame in constructing cells. The bee's venom is the most powerful substance in the natural world. Bee acupuncture can extend man's lifespan by curing arthritis. A bee's venom can open up neural pathways following a stroke. Honey can dress wounds. Since microbes can't live in it, it's antiseptic. Alexander the Great was embalmed in honey and lasted decades. In Ephesus, bees would symbolize Artemis and stood for wisdom. So Pythagoras, Achilles and Plato were fed honey in their infancy. The gift of heaven, Virgil called it. And in his Georgics, he said it conveyed prescience. And the priestess at Delphi was called the Delphic Bee. As her powers were oracular, she saw the future. Before Chernobyl was understood, bees wisely stayed in their hives. The priest Jonathan in 1 Samuel 14 would take some honey from a honeycomb. Then, as his hand met his mouth, his eyes were enlightened. The letters in the poet Deborah's Hebrew name, Debra, means be. It also means truth, both being on a mission to improve the world with sweetness and light. For if reason's sweet, why pull a sour face? Bees have made honey for 150 million years, and the pyramids, when rediscovered, showed that honey had been placed near Pharaoh's body, an immortal food which still tasted good after 5,000 years. Bees defend themselves without paying someone else to do it for them. Bees flower power is not a drug-enhanced dream. They're flyings for real. Where the bee sucks, there suck I. In a cowslip's bell, I lie. Paradise. The buzzing of bees, indicating contentment, is archetypal. The soundtrack to the land of milk and honey, man's sustaining ideal. Each bee has five eyes. Mystics reckon a third eye bestows occult powers. Five eyes could give you the ability to see, 
some things that man can't. The sound which bees make triggers the production of nectar in flowers. It can also pollinate the human brain. People love bees, said St. John Chrysostom, not because they work, but because they work for others. They're formed by nature to be altruistic, to be aware of the common good.